welcome to this talk. I'm going to talk about protection of privacy. This paper is a collaboration between Tianjin University and the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences. I am the presenter Bai Yang Zhao. First of all, to introduce the background, with the development of the network, the increasing number of apps, people's lives are increasingly dependent on smartphones. All kinds of personal information are collected by apps. There are more and more privacy issues. There have been many reported incidents of privacy in recent years, such as a Chinese app called Zhao has proposed a privacy policy that is a very clear violation of users' privacy. In order to solve the privacy issues, various countries and regions have introduced some laws and regulations. The most famous of which is the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, that is GDPR. The GDPR is famous mainly because of its strong fines. The serious violations will be fined 20 million euros or 4% of total global income of the previous financial year, which I read the higher. And the internet company, that is Google, have been fined 20 million euros by GDPR in 2019. The privacy policy of Zhou is in serious violation of the GDPR. And the snippet of its privacy policy is shown in the text box. The left side is the GDPR regulation of this snippet violate. And the two violated parts have been highlighted. This privacy policy violates the GDPR in some aspect, such as data retention period and the right of fish job. Privacy policy is the most direct way to show to user how their information is being used. And in the GDPR, regulations in Article 13 is suitable for checking the compliance of privacy policy. So, we use the regulations in Article 13 to analyze the privacy policy. It would be significant to have a method to automatically analyze privacy policy. For users, they use a large number of apps. Users' privacy and rights are likely to be violated. Detecting compliance of privacy policy automatically allows users to be aware of their rights and how their information is being used. For app companies, Many app companies do not intend to violate regulations, but because they are not in depth study of regulations, they may accidentally violate them. For regulators, they need to regulate a large number of privacy policies, but they are complex and difficult to read manually. So, it is useful for users, app companies, and regulators. Next, I will describe our method. Our method is divided into the following three steps. Rule extraction, text classification, and rule matching. Next, I will describe according to the steps. The first step is rule extraction. This is a snippet of GDPR. We can see that it follows the rule of if personal information is collected, the data retention period should be given. We define A represent collect personal information, B represent data retention period. Then it follows the rule A imply B. Later, when determining compliance with the privacy policy, it is complete if it follows the rule. The following labels can be extracted from Article 13 of the GDPR, all of which are follow the rule of A imply B. Each arrow corresponds to one rule, and they will be used in next steps. 
In order to analyze the privacy policy based on rules, we classify the sentence of privacy policy. The second step is the text classification. According to these labels, the corpus was constructed. The sentences that do not belong to any of the labels are annotated as other. 304 privacy policies are obtained from Google Play. They are annotated and constructed into the data set of experiment. Total of 22 legal and computer-related professionals annotate the corpus. Each privacy policy has three volunteers to annotate, and the annotation results will be merged after the annotation is completed. The information of corpus is shown in table on left. We can see the corpus is in balance. The count of data processing purpose is 1839, and the count of right to assess is 115. They are about 18 times different. After the corpus is constructed, we start train and predict the model. We have selected three models. Machine Learning Model SVN, Deep Learning Model LSTN, and the Pre-trained Language Model BURT. We also use the weighted loss function to obtain better text classification results because of the imbalance problem of the data. Lambda indicates the number of various labels. After the training, each sentence prior from privacy policy can be classified into one of the labels. After getting the classification results of each sentence, we can come to the third step, rule matching. Using the sentence classification results in privacy policy from the second step, and using the rule from the first step, that is A imply B, we can get the complex analyzed result. In the following example, the snippet of Twitter's privacy policy. This sentence is classified as collect personal information, and this sentence is classified as data retention period. Then it can be clearly detected by the rule of A imply B, and it can determine that the privacy policy is compliant on this regulation. Next. I will present the experiment result. We use tenfold cross-validation. The classification result is shown in table. We can see that the BERT is better than LSTM, and they are both outperform SVM. And the weighted loss function has a significant improvement on the classification of the model. After that, our method reports 1,180 issues in 304 privacy policies, and the precision of issues reporting reached 90%, the recall reached 89%. We also implement the usability evaluation for user. This is our visual interface. This screenshot shows its analysis of Tag's privacy policy, which contains five parts, such as search box, the compliance issues detected in apps of the same category. For example, here is a proportion of various issues in education apps. The tag is the education app. The third part is the word cloud of the current privacy policy. And it can display the sentence of various labels in the privacy policy according to the color, so that it can be easy to read and check the compliance. The fifth part is all detected compliance issues, and it can show the regulation of the corresponding issue violation, and the correct statement corresponding to that issue. For the usability evaluation, we design four tasks from two privacy policies, which are Tide and Upload apps. 
Each task corresponds to one regulation in GDPR. We conduct the usability evaluation on eight volunteers and two internet entrepreneurs. They are divided into the experiment group and the control group. The experiment group reads the privacy policy with the assistance of our tool, and the control group reads the privacy policy without any assistance. The time span on each task is shown in the table. The average time of control group is 517 seconds, and the experiment group is 232 seconds. Without so, that our tool saves an average about 55% of the time on reading privacy policies. It is usable for app users, app companies, and regulators. This is our presentation. Thank you.